Well, welcome to Glotini. This is a part of Christmas on Salt Spring. It's a little campaign that could. We're trying to, to turn Salt Spring into a world-renowned, world-class destination for Christmas. I think we're on to something. Yay. Uh, we've actually been written up in the Huffington Post, I'll repeat that, written up in the Huffington Post as one of the 10 best places to spend the holidays in the world. We're talking Fiji, we're talking the Bahamas, we're talking Austria, we're talking Salt Spring Island, everyone. Woo! So I'd like to welcome everybody. Um, uh, we did our first Glotini contest last year and it was a brainchild of a few of us in this room. A little bit of shout out to Deirdre Rollin, Taylor Darnell, and myself, Janet Clouston. Uh, we were actually sitting having a cocktail at the uh, Salt Spring Inn last year and thought, what could we do to really jazz up Christmas on Salt Spring? Let's have a martini contest. Let's call it the Glotini. We put the campaign together. Within three days, we had it established. Three weeks later, we had the campaign. Tom from Salt Spring Inn won it last year. Tom. And, uh, you feel the pressure tonight, Tom? Not so much pressure, man. I'm just happy to be here. Nice crowd. I like to see what people did. I really stepped it up with some nice local ingredients last year, and I think that it's going to be some stiff competition. I was actually speaking to a potential contestant yesterday, and they said they didn't want to be in the uh, in the contest because they thought the competition was too fierce. <laughs> I also had people asking me, is the Glotini a contest that's done right across Canada? Perhaps it shall be. But it starts here on Salt Spring, so I'm really happy to have everybody here this evening. Thank you for being here. Uh, so I just wanted to, do, uh, first of all, just thank a couple of sponsors that made the Christmas on, on Salt Spring campaign possible. I've got a bunch of them to thank, so I'm going to do it in batches. I really want to thank the Harbour House Hotel for their support. Uh, the little magazine that could, the Fish Bowl. Uh, Imagine that graphic design for their excellent work on our branding and print this year. Driftwood Media for your support. Um, I, Country Grocers for your excellent support as well. Salt Spring Air, Pharmasave, the Salt Spring Chamber of Commerce, woo woo! <laughs> the Village at Fulford Harbor and Moet's Trading. So thank you everybody for your support. There's a few more I'll thank later. So I'm going to let you know a little bit about how the Glotini is going to work this evening. We have six competitors uh, from bars. I'm going to actually announce them when they come up that are going to be competing. It has to be an original recipe that they have invented. It has to have a one, at least one salt spring ingredient. Attitude is not it. <laughs> it's got to have one salt spring ingredient. What we're doing is there's going to be a, a, um, three martinis made. I have judges here who I'll introduce in a moment. And they are going to serve their cocktails. They're rated out of 10 for different criteria. Those criteria are presentation, color, festiveness, use of local ingredient, taste, and the glow factor. That mysterious glow factor. So they're going to be ranked out of 10. We'll be actually crowning a uh, winner for, for this evening's Lotini contest. Once we have a winner, we're going to be selling the drink this evening, so you're going to want to make sure to imbibe and enjoy. And they will be for sale right across Salt Spring Island, and any, any uh, facility that serves martinis will be serving the Glotini through the entire holiday season, so the recipe will be made available. A dollar from every drink we sell, including this evening, will go to Copper Kettle. And last year, yes. Last year, in our first year of doing this, we donated $400 to the Copper Kettle, so we sold 400 Glotinis last year. I drank 300 of them. Who drank the rest? <laughs> okay, I had a couple. Um, I was really happy because I was hearing people going into establishments and saying, we're here for Glotinis, and I just think that's a ton of fun, so I'm really, really happy about that. Um, so Copper Kettle, there is a Christmas sock here somewhere. I'm not sure where it went to, but we'll be, there it is. We're going to be passing it around this evening. Let's start the donations to Copper Kettle off, right? So let's t pass the uh, little sock this evening and make some donations as we're enjoying ourselves here. Be thoughtful of those less fortunate. So I'm going to introduce our celebrity judges and then we're going to bring up our first contestant from Monte Pesto. So if you want to get ready. Bullwit, also
also known as Miss 604. Her, her blog, she, we're, we're running a contest through Miss 604 for a trip to Salt Spring, courtesy of Hastings House, courtesy of Salt Spring Air, Auntie Pesto's Cafe and Twang and Pearl. She put the article out today and has had over a hundred people respond to the contest already. So I think that's very good for a first day of a blog. Wallow in it. Wallow Whitnick, David, right. sorry. <laughs> I, I nailed it in my practice round and flubbed it up. He's with West Restaurant and he's actually a celebrity mixologist that competes internationally. internationally. <laughs> yes. And we have Janice Mansfield. Janice is a personal chef and blogger from Victoria who's here to help us out this evening. So these are our judges. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I think he, uh, he's going to go down. John's going to go down. What do you think, Jess? Uh, I would have to agree. Uh, the odds of picking the same person twice, especially Tom, hard to come by. Well, Tom's a Tom's a great competitor. He's He's been a bartender for a long time. He's got lots of tricks up his sleeve. But this guy right here beside me? Yeah, I think he's a little washed up, is, is what he was trying to say. <laughs> Slightly washed up. Great it's crowd. Okay. So uh, do you think Moby should win the contest this year? Well, of course, I think that we should win the contest, but any contest should be properly won. And I know that our bartender, Jesse, has been really hard at it. And uh, we were sampling a lot of his uh, refinements on his excellent uh, entry into tonight's competition. So we have a bit of a sneak preview, although we haven't had the final version. And I know that uh, he's going to be a real contender tonight. And Moby's is the only pub on Salt Spring, isn't it? Moby's is the only pub on Salt Spring, and we really hope to host this event next year because our bar is longer than this one, and we can host more people. Well, there you go, Robert. Thanks a lot. We'll see what happens. Thanks, guys.